Sebastian. A voice called from afar. That was the moment when Connor opened his eyes and found himself in the Phantom Hive Manor, looking exactly like Sebastian Michaelis. As Connor, um, Sebastian, tried to make sense of the situation, a piece of paper caught his eye. As he reached for the paper to then read the words written onto it, he groaned and started to say something rather vulgar. A piece of paper, which had been on the floor since Con, uh, Sebastian, dropped it, read the following. Dear Connor, since I did your job last time, it's only fair for you to do mine today. I hope you're having an awful time tending to the young master's every wish. Sincerely, Sebastian Michaelis. Sebastian sighed out loud, and as he had to face the fact of being a butler for the day, Ciel's butler, the job wasn't going to be easy. But wait, Sebastian suddenly had an idea. Since he was to do the work as Sebastian, maybe he also had the abilities he had. But sadly, that wasn't the case. He was still a mere human, with the looks of a demon in disguise. This day is going to be hell on earth. This day is going to be hell on earth. Sebastian mumbled, before then finally going to answer the young master's call. It took him long to find the right room to go to, since he'd never been to the manor before. And as he opened the door to Ciel's study, a plate nearly hit him in the face. Sebastian, what took you so long? The food you prepared was awful and the tea too cold. Make me something edible and better tea. That's an order. Said Ciel, in his usual annoyed manner. Sebastian was tempted to roll his eyes, but instead simply bowed and nodded his head before speaking the usual words. Yes, my lord. After he cleaned the broken plate off the floor, the journey to find the kitchen began. This time, it took him even longer to find the correct place. Once he reached it, a sudden realization happened. He had no idea what to cook, or how even to make the tea like the real Sebastian did. The kitchen was an even bigger mess than usual, but the makeshift spaghetti looked somewhat edible. Sebastian had to admit, cooking in such an old-fashioned place wasn't going to be easy at all. He never knew before that a microwave could be missed so much. At least they had a kettle for making tea. That was maintainable to handle. With the finished food and tea, he then went back on his way to Ciel. Luckily, he had somehow memorized the way back to the study, so it only took him ten minutes to reach it. Here you go, young master. Sebastian said as he presented a dish to a rather bored and gloomy-looking Ciel. Today you're really taking your time, Sebastian. Are you trying? To test my patience. He asked before then turning to eat the food that was in front of him. But as expected, it wasn't to his liking. Sebastian, didn't I say edible? Why is this food the opposite of that? You're lucky that this is a rare occurrence and that the tea's all right. <sighs> well then, I have business to tend to now. Go and do your usual chores. With those words, Sebastian bowed and left with the dishes to wash them in the kitchen. It took about twenty minutes, all in all. Then he finally was done. But before he got to thinking of the other chores mentioned by C.L., a loud feminine scream echoed in the hallway. Merin, what in the world have you done? Sebastian asked, as he saw a ton of broken plates on the floor. Next to them was Merin. I'm so sorry, Mr. Sebastian. I tripped over my feet, and the plates were flying into the air. She was crying at that point, and the annoyed butler rolled his eyes. But since it was his job to work as a demon butler for the day... He quickly cleaned up the mess and helped the maid back on her feet. You should be more careful, Meryn. I don't like seeing cutlery in pieces. But as she was about to answer, a loud explosion came from the garden and sent Sebastian running. But instead of Finian, who had expected to have blown up the garden, a dozen men were standing in the backyard of the manor. One looked tougher than the others, causing Sebastian to slightly panic. The reason for the explosion sound was also soon discovered. It had been an actual explosion that made a hole in the wall of the building. Look who we have here. It's the butler of the estate. I wonder how many bullets he'll withstand before dropping to the floor. A man said before taking out a pistol, and just before he was about to pull the trigger, the real Sebastian Michaelis appeared. Connor Sebastian ran for cover, as he then watched the men pay the price for invading the Phantom Hive residence. Sebastian chuckled when he was finished with them all and the hole in the wall of the building had been repaired. Then he started approaching the knockoff version. 
What followed was a discussion between the two Sebastians. The one that initiated the discussion was a knockoff Bassie, a.k.a. Connor. You really did give me a hard time, Sebastian. I must admit, your job isn't easy. But why in the name of Kinder did you even do this to me? I'm only trying to make Weebs happy by being you. And what's the thanks I get? An extra difficult work day? Sebastian merely smirked at those words, and then replied in a calming manner. It was my wish to show you the world of anime. Maybe even to share a cup of tea. But now your day is over and mine has begun. Farewell, Connor. Till next time. Have fun. It was my wish to show you the world of anime. Maybe even share a cup of tea. But now your day is over and my night's begun. Farewell, Connor. Till next time. Have fun. And with those words, knockoff Bassie vanished into the air. Connor! A voice called, only to find himself in his room, in a call with Noel, during which he'd most likely passed out. Hey, Noel, was I asleep? Connor asked his friend, who then replied with one simple sentence. No, you weren't here, of a knockoff. But instead of Noel's voice, he heard Sebastian. Maybe it wasn't a dream after all. Look who we have here. It's the butler of the estate. I wonder how many bulls we have to stand when we drop him to the floor. And then he died. Mwah. Cannot find a voice for these guys. Hey. Yo, 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 wait for you. I wonder how many bullets he will stand before dropping to the floor. That would sound like Undertaker. Like... Look who we have here. The butler of the estate. You're lucky that this is a rare occurrence and that the tea's all right. Well, then I have business to t <laughs> Fuck me. Man said before taking a out a pistol, and then there was a mouse. No, not really. That's not part of the thing. There's no mouse thing. There's no screaming. It's a lie. It's all a lie. You sit on a throne of lies. I was born to talk like Tamaki, yeah. Born to talk like Tamaki, yeah. I'm not crazy, I was born to talk like Tamaki. Yeah. A voice called from afar, in pain, or pleasure. Who really knows? Lemons. Alright. Today you're really taking your time, Sebastian. Are you trying to test my patience? He asked before then, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not the narrator. <laughs> as he presented the dish to a rather bored and gloomy-looking sub- Here you go, young master. See, I- The fuck- The difference between- Hmm, demanding little bitch baby and not- Alright, um- Sebastian? Sebastian! There, there we- Oh fuck, I'm recording! <laughs> the food you prepared for me was awful. Oh wait, no, that's not my line. <laughs> That's so funny. Sebastian! A voice called from afar. Oh, damn it. The kitchen was in even bit. Sebastian, didn't I say edible? Why is this food the opposite of that? You're lucky that this is a rare occurrence and the tea's alright. Well, the god, oh, you sound like fucking Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> god damn. Sebastian sighed out loud as he had to. Uh... As he reached for the paper to read it, the words were written onto it. Drop onto the floor. Hands on the floor. His pants on the ground. That made a hole in the wall of the building. And I now have another itch on my... Itch on my face. I got an itch on my face. Now I'm gonna go read. Sebastian sighed out loud. Uh, uh, uh. Sorry, Robert, taking off tune. Just my patience. Smashing in the elbow. You can see the intensity. You can go and see you use your chairs. I'm so sorry, Mr. Sebastian. I tripped off my feet and you both went flying into the air. Sebastian, what took you so long? Should you pay the fee? It's over cold tea. It'll make it colder. It's such an order. My man, what have you done, stupid? 